everyone. It's Miss April from the Schenectady County Public Library. I have a really fun story time for us today about one of my favorite animals. Can anyone guess what animal that might be? Hmm. That's right. The fox. So to get started, we're going to sing our hello song and then we're going to read some stories about foxes. Um, recite some rhymes about foxes and sing a song about foxes. Then we're going to sing our goodbye song before we go. So come along with me everyone, let's have some fun. So if you've been watching my story time, you might remember our hello song. So in order to sing our hello song, we need to know some sign language. So we're going to sing the more we get together. And these are the signs we need to know more. Can you do the sign for more? Good job. Together. Good job. Happy. Good job. Can you do that? Great. And friends. So how do we make the sign for friends? We hold up one friend over here and one friend over here and we put them together like that. Okay, sing with me. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, everyone. So this is the story I have for us to read today. It's called Chicken Little and it's written and illustrated by Rebecca Emberley and Ed Emberley, and it's published by Roaring Brook Press. So I love this book, not only because it's a great story, but also there are lots of really great rhyming words in this story. So children that are exposed to rhyming words are better able to grasp language and will become better readers. There he is, there's Chicken Little. Chicken Little was not the brightest chicken in the coop. He was very excitable and prone to foolishness. One day, he was doing nothing, his usual pastime, when an acorn fell from the sky and hit him on the head. Bonk! It knocked him senseless. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, he exclaimed. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. I must run for my life. He grabbed his umbrella to protect his scrambled noggin and ran out into the world without much of a plan. It wasn't long before he bumped into Penny Penny. Bonk! Ock! Uh-oh. Where are you going in such a rush? She squawked. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious! Chicken Little panted. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. We must run for our lives. Is the sky falling? Is the whole sky falling? Or was it just that acorn? Hmm. So maybe Chicken Little is overreacting a little bit. <laughs> oh my, said Henny Penny. And being witless herself, joined in without any further questions. And off they ran. Still no plan. Within minutes, they ran into Lucky Ducky. Can you say that? with me? Lucky Ducky. Bonk! Ah! Hey! He quacked. Why are you in such a hurry? Oh my goodness! Oh my gracious! Huffed Chicken Little. The sky is falling and we are running for our lives! Henny Penny could not catch her breath, so she said nothing. Not wanting to be left out, Lucky Ducky joined in 
and off they ran. Still no plan. Where are they going? They're just running for their lives. They better figure out what they're doing soon. Momentarily, they ran into Lucy Goosey. Can you say that with me? Lucy Goosey. Good job. Honestly, with names like these, is it any wonder? Bonk. Uh -huh. Why don't you watch where you're going? She honked. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious! Rap chicken little! The sky is falling and we are running for our lives! <sighs> what a bother. I'd better come with you. What's the plan? Asked Goose. No time for a plan, they huffed. The sky is falling! And off they ran. As it was growing dark, they ran into Turkey Lurkey. Can you say that with me? Turkey Lurkey. Bonk! Oop! That is not so good. How dare you! He gobbled. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious! Croaked Chicken Little. The sky is falling and we are running for our lives. No time to explain. And off they ran. Oop! Onk! Ack! Ock! Eep! Bonk! Soon the animal's little flock grew tired. They were not used to all this running. And they, then they ran into... Foxy Loxy. Can you say that with me? Foxy Loxy. Good job. My, my. Mumbled the fox. Where are all these little birdies going at such a frantic pace? Oh boy, look at Foxy Loxy. Does he look nice or does he look hungry? I think he looks hungry. No, what are the animals going to do now? Oh my goodness, oh my gracious! Gasped Chicken Little, who was now quite out of breath. The sky is falling and we are running for our lives! Oh my goodness indeed, said the fox. But we must find a place for you to rest. Step into this warm, dark cave. Where the sky cannot fall on you. Do you think they should step into that warm, dark cave? What is the warm, dark cave? It's the fox's mouth! Well, without another thought in their tired, feathered heads, oh my gracious, the flock went forward gratefully into the warm, dark cave. You squawk the hen. Uh, it stinks in here. Uh, and the floor is squishy and wet, quacked the duck. Uh-oh, gobbled the turkey. Oh, no, honked the goose. Uh, uh. Sounded like a sneeze. And they all, and there they go, all running away from the fox. They're pretty lucky, huh, that that fox sneezed, or they wouldn't have gotten out of his mouth. The end. So what do you think the, the, the birdies should have done? Do you think they should have had a plan? Maybe they wouldn't have gotten eaten up by the fox. Maybe if they would have thought, 
before getting very upset, they would have been a little bit better off. I think so. Thanks for reading that with me, everyone. So who remembers the name of the fox in the story that we just read? Does anyone remember? Foxy Loxy, that's right. So now I have a rhyme for us about Foxy Loxy. You ready? Follow along with me. Foxy Loxy, touch your toes. Where are your toes? Your toes right there, touch your toes. Good job. Foxy Loxy, touch your nose. There's your nose. Foxy Loxy, pat your head. Pat, good job. Pop. Foxy Loxy, go to bed. Good job. Foxy Loxy, wake up now. Everybody wake up. Good job. Foxy Loxy, take a bow. Can you bow? Good job. Foxy Loxy, clap your paws. Foxy Loxy, show your claws. Grr. Good. Foxy Loxy, touch the ground. You touch the ground? Good job. Foxy Loxy, don't make a sound. Shh. Good job. Let's do that one more time. Foxy Loxy, touch your toes. Foxy Loxy, touch your nose. Foxy Loxy, pat your head. Foxy Loxy, go to bed. Foxy Loxy, wake up now. Foxy Loxy, take a bow. Foxy Loxy, clap your paws. Foxy Loxy, show your claws. Urgh. Foxy Loxy, touch the ground. Foxy Loxy, don't make a sound. Good job, everyone. Is everyone ready to go a hunting with me? All right, so this is a really fun song. So I want to hear you sing along with me. Also, while we're singing, you can listen for the rhyming words. Ready? A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll take a fox and put him in a box and then we'll let him go. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a bear and put him in his chair and then we'll let him go. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a, what are we gonna catch? A frog. We'll catch a frog and put him in a log and then we'll let him go. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a mouse and put him in a house and then we'll let him go. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a whale and tickle his tail, and then we'll let him go. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a goat. <laughs> and put him in a boat, and then we'll let him go. Good job, everyone. So let's see if we can go back and remember what we did with each animal. So the fox, do you remember where we put the fox? I'll give you a hint, it rhymes with fox. Put him in a box. Good job. What about the chair? Where did we put I mean, ah, I just ruined it. What about the bear? We put him in a, a chair. That's right. A chair rhymes with bear. Now, what about the frog? Do you remember what we did with the frog? We put him in a, a log. Then we let him go. So log rhymes with frog. How about the mouse? Does anyone remember what 
where we put the mouse. What do we do with the mouse? Put the mouse in a in a house. Very good. And how about the whale? We tickled his tail. That's right. So tail rhymes with whale. And how about the goat? We put the goat in a boat. That's right. We did lots of silly things with all of these animals. That was really fun singing with you guys. Thanks a lot. So I have another story for us to read. It's called Foxy. And it's written and illustrated by Emma Dodd. And it's published by Harper Collins. So Foxy actually has a magic tail. So let's see what Foxy can do with his magic tail. It was way past bedtime. And tomorrow was Monday. Emily would be starting school. Emily sat up in bed. Let's see, how does Emily look? Does she look worried? Yeah, her face looks worried. Emily was worried. What's the matter, asked Foxy. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can help. I'm worried I haven't got all the things I need for the first day of school, said Emily. Foxy wanted to help Emily, and he thought he would be able to with his magic tail. Foxy waved it back and forth and back and forth so Emily would notice. Well, I don't need a tail for school, said Emily. I need a pencil. Voila, a pencil, said Foxy. Uh-oh, is that a pencil? No, what is it? No, that's a penguin, said Emily. Foxy tried again, and this time he came up with a pencil. Oh, good job, Foxy. Well, now I need a pencil case, said Emily. Voila, said Foxy. Uh-oh, is that a pencil? Is that a pencil case? No, it's a cage for the penguin. Thank you, Foxy. Oh, there's the pencil case. Good job, Foxy. Thank you, Foxy. I also have to bring a notebook. Ta-da, a notebook. Is that a notebook? No, that's a chalkboard. I guess magic is hard, said Emily. Oops, let me try that again. Oh, there's the notebook. Good job, Foxy. That's much better. And here's an eraser. Is that an eraser? Oh, gosh, no. What is it? It's an elephant. Uh-oh. Oh, phew, much better. Well, I'd also love some new school shoes, Emily suggested. Ta-da! Oh boy, those are some crazy shoes, huh? Well, thank you, Foxy, Emily said politely, but I think I'll wear my boots to school instead. I think those shoes would probably be too big for Emily. What do you think? Yeah. How about a new hat? Asked Foxy. Never mind. I'll wear it myself. That's pretty good on Foxy, huh? And here's a school bag. No, silly. That's, that's a pirate flag not a school bag. Oh boy. And Emily still looked worried. Now, now what's the matter? Asked Foxy. What if I'm not smart enough? Asked Emily. Foxy touched Emily with his magic tail. 
Oh boy, now it looks like maybe she has too much going on in her head, huh? Oh dear, said Emily. I think I'd rather learn these things at school. I think that's a good idea. And one last thing, said Emily. What if nobody likes me? Well, now you don't need any magic for that, Emily, said Foxy. I know you'll make plenty of friends. And I think she will too. The end. Thanks for reading that with me, everyone. So before we go, let's sing our goodbye song. So just like our hello song, we're going to need to know some sign language. So our song is called Goodbye Friends, and we need to know the sign for goodbye. Can you wave? Good job. Friends, do you remember how we do the sign for friends? One friend over here, one friend over here, and join them together. Good job. Then we need to know the sign for time. Point to your watch right here. And we need to know the sign for say. Tap your chin right here. Good job. Now sing with me. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you soon, everyone.